Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alcar Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next review. And today I'm looking at the Titans Return Brainstorm and the Walmart Retro Release Headmaster Brainstorm. And again, the this is one of my favorites. I really like this one. Um, definitely very cool. Um, I mean, I like them all, but as for like design wise this has always been one of my favorites so let us take a look at the packaging for the walmart retro release and there's the front of the packaging and again just like with the rest we've got that original 1988 87 either 87 or 80 i can't remember the exact year um artwork and here we've got Autobot Arcana, or well, it's, um, why do I keep forgetting their names? <laughs> but Arcana, and of course in the Takara Japanese Headmasters, this was Brainstorm. And then his body was the transtector that he controlled, which I think is very cool. I, as I said, I prefer that than the Nebulans. God. I don't know why it just takes so long to come back to me. <laughs> I feel like I'm not very smart. <laughs> no, no, I'm not putting myself down, just making a joke. But again, love the classic retro artwork. I mean, it would have been cool to get the original. Again, that's got to be pretty difficult on um, because of the degradation of the original molds. I can imagine. I mean, you look at a lot of the retro releases of uh, G1 figures like Optimus and that, and like everything, it just transforms so floppy, so loose because of the degradation from the mold. So it is a bummer about that when that happens. But on this one, not too bad. I do like that they took the. titan's return and just gave it like the the takara or um animation headmasters animation colors and paint so very cool on that but there's the front here's the bottom with our barcode and some product shots headmaster autobot brainstorm bunch of words on the top our quick transformations like we would see on the classic G1 boxes, so very cool to see those. On this side, those same product shots with our Headmaster Autobot Brainstorm. On this side, same thing. On the back, that wonderful artwork from 1987, 88. I wish I could remember the exact year. And, of course, so you can read it, our bio for our Brainstorm and of course his tech specs so there is that and of course warning don't eat anything in this packaging small parts you'll choke and again some more of that artwork so that is it for the box and just like with the previous ones we'll look at the differences in both modes uh, i'll explain the transformation with our Titans return and then do a quick transformation sorry with our retro release I started a new job last week so I'm a little more tired than usual but let's bring them in of course here you can see some of our differences already in the colors And these pieces, like, you can have them up like that. I'm not really sure what these are for, but you can put them back down again. Same thing on this one. You know, just depends on how you would like it. So, here we've got Titan's Return. You can see lighter colors. Of course, translucent yellow, which has some dust all over it. 
Maybe some scratches. I'm not sure. What is that? But very cool. Back looks good. There is the bottom. And I do have like a uh, Shapeways add on in there. And I'll show you what that's for. I actually do have a video. It was one of the first videos I put up on YouTube like seven years ago <laughs> um, of that. But I'll just show what it's for as a quick it with this. But there's that one. And now with this one, you can see the darker colors, a little more paint, like right in here. Uh, this dark gray. A you know, little bit lighter uh, pearl color, I'm going to call it. And then this teal is um, a little different color. It also isn't really uh, shiny. It's more of a flat. You can actually see that difference there. And, of course, our bottoms. And we'll get into more of the details in robot modes on that. So there is that. Now let's take a look at Arcana. And of course there we have him sitting. And when you're putting him in there's like a little inside there. There's like a little. It's hard to see. But uh, come on. Shine in there. Get a little closer. Yeah it's, it's like a little notch for this to sort of hook into. Um. It works better on the other one than this one, but yeah, I'm trying to, trying to, get in. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, you sort of you get it in there, and then you kind of hook it in a way, or you pr push down, and it it hooks there. That one did it a little better, and it keeps him a little more stationary. So there's that, and then it doesn't take much to bring him out so here we have our arcana or i'm not sure i don't remember what they named him in titan's return same thing with the others and of course i do have that third party face I'll go over that i still have not found where i put the originals i know they're here somewhere i might have them in a box that's buried which i do not doubt that so then we'll pull this arcana out Straighten it. Straighten it. And there we go. And here you can see the differences in the colors. So he's got more of an orange face. He's got more of a yellow face. That dark gray and then that sort of uh, pearl white on him. You know, slightly different with the uh, teals. I'm, I'm going to call it teal. It's what it looks like to me. Close resemblance. And then, of course, the differences in the face, the third party and the official. So here's the third party, here's the official. You can see, not much difference. Looks good. Looks nice. Really like that. Yeah. And, of course, they do have their gun, and it stores right here. So I always just put it there. It just looks very nice. And they have wheels on the bottom. Both of them do. So they can roll pretty nicely, but they're supposed to be future jets and fly. <laughs> but that is it. Oh, yeah, and Autobot symbols. Uh, slightly bigger on these ones compared to this one. Also in a slightly different place or placement. So not much, but... Yeah, there is that. So let's get into transformation. Oh, I should go over the detailing. I love the detailing. So we got some vents here. We've got these vents here. You know, this piece, which, like I said, I'm not sure what that's for. Like, what exactly that is. If someone else knows, I know it's not for, like, if he uses this, this piece as a shield, but I don't know. But anyways, let's get into transformation so first thing we want to do raise you up so you can see what i'm doing okay not so high <laughs> gonna untab these pieces and right here and we're gonna just bring them out like this for 
now. Now with this, we're going to open this up. We want to close up that seat and then we close this up even further. We can bring this down just like that for now. Now then, we'll bring these up just a little bit more so we can deal with the dead legs. And they open up, oh, they open up here. So we're going to open up here, rotate everything out. And it's sort of, it's not really a thoop or anything, but yeah, it just holds in. So bring those back in. Whoop, actually, no, we want to keep them out separate them and then we want to fold in this aerial fin and then we can close it all up close it up rotate down to toes rotate down to toes and there's those now we'll bring this down just like well one thing I forgot to do this is always a pain to get out get a good grip on it and it's just this pegs into here and this pegs in there it holds very nicely like very nicely but we'll rotate this down and we're gonna bring these up and there's this tab it's gonna go in to that slot in there just like that and then open that up and one other thing, and I'll show you actually this. So let's do that. Whoops. Open this up. Come on. And the, the last thing that I do that sort of like, in my opinion, helps with the, the look, helps helps it look a little better, is take these, rotate them back one. Sort of, I, I like to do that. Not everybody needs to do that. It's just I, it's something I like to do. And the final bit that he's missing is his head. So, bring these in, bring the legs up and around, and finally plug in his head. And there we have our Titans Return Brainstorm. And he looks good. I do rather like him. So yeah. So there is that one. And now let's do a quick transformation of him. Of course, I'm gonna bring this gun out first. Always have a hard time getting a good grip on it. There we go. Alright, untab all of this. Bring it down. Yeah, on mine, this wing is like a little loose here, but not up here. I don't know what's up with that. It is what it is, though. It works. Okay, bring open this up. Close that. We'll bring it down like this for now. Just rotate that like that. And I do like how they painted the, the top of this to really help match in. So there's that bring this out open open rotate there we go on tab rotate in and yeah there's the, the way these like it, it's a soft thoop so when you're going into jet mode and then we'll close these up close these up bring Bring. Okay, there's his legs all done. All right. Come on. There we go. To bring that down just like that. Bring this up. In. Up. In. Rotate around until it's all the way. Rotate around until it's all the way.
Okay. There's that. And plug in. Oops. Come on. Get on there. Get in there. There we go. And there we go. And there we have our retro release headmaster brainstorm all transformed. And there they are. They look good. I like it. I like it a lot. So let's bring in. You can see the differences. So here, come on, feet, feet straight. What's wrong with you? All right. So you can see here differences. So this has like this design here, whereas it's on the shoulders here. A little more um, accurate to uh, the headmaster's cartoon. Or as close as we're going to get to accurate to the Headmaster's cartoon. And you can see here he's got, this one has the Autobot symbol there. This one doesn't. Although you can see the little marking where there would be one. Different on his legs of where they did, how they did paint. You can see it's more, it's upside down compared to this one. And this one's a little smaller. Oh, and then different colors so but still looks good articulation it's going to be the same for both head because the um, headmaster's head is on a ball joint we get all that movement so all the way around some wiggle looks up a little bit down a little bit arms come out this far Full rotation, and it's, yeah, it's not bad. We've got bicep swivel. We've got 90 for the elbow. We do have wrist rotation, so that's very nice. We have waist rotation. Kick forward that far. If you move this up out of the way, you can kick back that far. Mm, full Van Dam, thigh rotation, and slightly over 90 on the knee. And then it's just the foot goes up and down. That's it. So yeah, a little limited. So now another thing that they can do. Whoops. All right, we'll set that piece off to the side. Is they can use this sort of as. A shield and you can plug it in like right here if you wish or they could hold it like this you've also got okay that's that's what that's for I figured that out so you can take the headmaster or Titan master plug them in there and it's yeah that's what that's for I feel like an idiot there is that so and both of them can do it so they can hold it you know and of course can hold it with this peg so they can hold it like that personally i don't like that i prefer it staying on the back now one thing you can do if you want and this this isn't how it looked in the show if i remember correctly or in the cartoon but you know it just hangs off his back like that so on Shapeways, there is this adapter, and what this is going to do is it's going to plug in right there, and you are going to match up the posts, this one here as well. Just plug it in, and it my knit has gotten loose over the years. I need to tighten that up, but then you can have him look in like that. So I only do this with the Titan Master because... The headmaster, I like keeping it um, closer to the show. So that's why his just stays hanging off his back. I'm curious. I can't wait to see what uh, Fans Toys does with uh, him, which, I mean, it'll probably be 10 years before we see that. But, and the final bits, they can hold their weapons. Just plug it in, and there we go so there's his and you 
there is his. So again, love these figures, love the whole update. I think it actually still fits in very well with um, the uh, uh, War for Cybertron trilogy and the Legacy. Like it just feels like uh, like this is an our uh, season four slash headmasters. You know, it just feels like it it fits in. Um, definitely, definitely really like that. So, there we go. There is Titan's Return Brainstorm and Walmart Retro Release Headmaster Brainstorm. So, again, very cool. I wish I could remember if they named, named his Arcana or if, uh, it had a different name. I honestly cannot remember any of them. I just know... Not really the names of the Nebulans that well, because I got more into Headmasters once I was able to watch it and prefer the whole Transtector uh, concept. I think that's much better, much better storytelling. Works a lot better because it's they're still fully Cybertronian. There's no no human or Nebulan or whatever you want to call it that's like taken away their personality that's how i feel personally i know others might like it with the whole nebulin and human concept controlling headmasters but i personally prefer the the uh cybertronians being the little guys controlling the transector bodies so so yeah so that is going to be it for me um, if you are still looking for either of these, your best bet's online, most likely eBay, maybe Mercari. Um, not sure what other sites might have older figures, honestly, but that is all I have to say for Brainstorm. So I'm sorry if this video dragged on. I want to say thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.